All right, y'all. We back in the house, man. We back in the house. All right. Uh, so I uh, I went to um, I went to uh, I went to George making a panel. You know, he comes up in my feed a lot, man, because I'm subscribed to him. <clears throat> and you know, most of the things he talks about, man, I'm in agreement with. You know what I mean? But um, today he was talking about. Um, he was talking about uh, the polite situation and the the mother of the girl that polite uh, pled to um, child abuse and all the other nefariousness stuff that he did with the child. Uh, not all of it, of course. Uh, you know, I think that was the major issue was was getting those uh, sex crimes off the table. And so I think once they was able to work that out, then uh, the the, um, the prosecution was able to move forward with the with the plea. But um, but I disagree with George, and so I tried to. We I guess we tried to man. We just we were just having wasn't having to able to hook up with each other, man, and and create his, you know and and do the situation. George wanted to go live, and I wanted to go live too. But I kept trying to put my email into the to the um comment section because george doesn't have his email on his page so i didn't have a way to actually email him and so i had to go to his tiktok and send my email to his tiktok but then i I left a character out of the first time that i had to go back and send it a second time then i went back and sent it a third time then george finally sent his email uh put his email out in the um in the um in the uh comments which only the person who owns the page can put emails and and links and stuff in the comments so i forgot about that so anyway uh george um put his email out there so i tried to i, I sent him my email so hopefully you know he and i will get together let me check right now because i'll stop this video right here if if he uh emailed me a, a link to uh go on and uh do what we, you know do the thing Nope, no link from him. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the video because this is what he told me to do in the first place was make a video outlining the points. And I have a lot of points I disagree with him because I mostly uh, agree with George on mostly everything he says. But uh, this thing I disagree with. So we're going to watch a little bit of his video, his live stream today, and I'll show you the points at which I have a disagreement with him about. Well, going on, black men. They don't want correction. A lot of them don't. That's why I don't like this space. That's why I don't like the space that, I, that I've been in for years. Because you can't go nowhere in this space. There is no fix in this space. But we're going to listen. I want y'all to listen. I'm going to teach something. Listen to her, right? And I'm going to break all this shit down. Time I have spoken publicly about what you've done to my daughter and I. I have gracefully remained silent the last two and a half years. Two and a half years of pain, shock, disbelief. Okay, so this is this is the mother of the girl that polite um, molested, quote, allegedly. Um, so he therefore, uh, this is at the plea. This is a this is the impact statement after he has pled guilty to the child abuse and the child endangerment charges or whatever. So um, this is the impact statement after he is, you know, he got the conviction. Uh, so this is the mother of the girl. All right. PTSD, constant nightmares, and daily triggers. Trying to help my daughter heal when I'm not even healed myself. What you have done to my daughter, myself, and my entire family is inexcusable. You hurt us all. You made me believe that you were such a great man and you could do no wrong. You made me fully trust you and for that. Now, I'm, a, I'm talking to the women now. She just had the audacity to say that you made me believe that we can trust you and you can do no wrong. This is where the accountability comes, where a lot of black men say you need to take accountability. She's a fucking liar. She was a part and complicit and she knew what he was doing. All right. Now, so... They want to know, hey, well, Clarence, we, we disagree, what you disagree with sounds logical, right? Sounds 
pretty logical what he's saying, right? It does, but it's a conflation because he's conflating the idea that she thought she knew that he was doing harm to other people. She didn't realize the harm was going to touch her too. See, she, he, this, this, he's conflating that issue. He, she thought she was safe from his nefariousness. Shout out to Patrice. So she thought he was safe from her. He, she, and her daughter was safe from his nefariousness. Right. That's what she means when she says, "You told me you would never hurt me." You mean I was complicit and I was. Uh, supportive of her of you harming other people and getting over on other people but you promised me it would never touch my front front door that's what she's saying that's what she's saying so that's one part i disagree with because she's not lying she he he convinced her that it would never he i'm sure polite convinced her hey long as you rolling with me the sky is going to be blue all the time. It's going to be nothing but rainbows and lollipops out there. Right? But if you with me, you with me. We're going to, have, we're going to hit a little turbulence every now and then, right? An allegation going to come up here and there, right? But if you give your life, you give your life, right? So that's, I think that's what she was saying. I don't think she was lying about that. That's my, that's my opinion. She was, I don't think she was lying about that. He absolutely convinced her that, yes, I'm doing all of this nefarious uh, criminal activity out here, but it's never going to hit your door. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. It was all good until what he was doing affected you in a negative way. You was enamored with what he was doing. You liked it, and you went over there, and you was a part of it. And because of that, you put yourself and your daughter in harm's way for a predator. And he okay. Now, this much, I agree with him on this part, where she was so um, enchanted by Polite and all of the stuff that he was able to do and, the, and how Polite was able to uh, get move pe other people and move things around that she was so enchanted by that that she felt like she was on a winning team. A lot of people picked the wrong horse. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people picked the wrong horse. This young lady, unfortunately, picked the wrong horse, right? And, of course, she thought she was on a winning squad till she realized this predation, this predation was going on in her own home, right? Because I'm sure the other stuff that came up Polite was able to say, oh, no, that's just, man, they just lying on me. They want to get me. They want to break me. They want to do this. So Polite was able to do that. And when you got when you got a woman that really believes in you and is willing to give her life to your cause and you able to get her all the way in, nobody's going to support you harder than a woman is. And when you get a woman that's all the way in, they're going to even support you even with your flaws. Right? Bill Cosby's wife stayed with him through all that stuff, man. Camille Cosby stayed there through all that stuff. That's just the stuff we know about. We ain't even talking about the stuff that just they know about. Right? But she was all in. She said, I'm with this man. I know he got flaws. I know I got to watch him. I got to keep it. I got to protect him from himself. Right? <laughs> right? So I think what what it is is I, I now, because this is my thing. I don't think the girl ever thought that Polite would ever do something to her daughter. And I don't think she thought that Polite was out there doing stuff to other people's daughters I don't think I think polite was able to convince her that those those were those were just people just haters. I think he was able to do that. That's my feeling. Cuz I don't think a a person even a person grind trying to grind like she was or trying to be there with polite 
would have been there if she thought for a moment that Plight was going to turn around and do something like that to her own daughter. If that was the case, why are we here? Why do we go to court? What are we doing? If she thought that already and she brought the daughter in, why are we here? Right? <laughs> if she was okay with that. So obviously she wasn't okay with that. She was okay with the nefariousness that was going on, you know, and she was benefiting off of it. And Polite, I'm sure, was able to tell her, hey, man, this is this is how we get out. If you with it, you with it. So I think that's that's unfortunately where she messed up. But I think what we do in Georgia is doing is conflating two different it, it scenario, two different issues, right? She never had no clue that this was going to touch her. And I'm not saying she was right for hanging out with polite. I mean, she did what she did, man. Many people have been fooled by better people than polite, right? So, you know, we've all been captivated by some person or another and then we found out man this dude is he really a sucker or the, or, the, or this chick is really you know a piece of work right so that can happen to anyone now was she right for getting with polite especially spending that blood money i don't think so no i agree with george on that no i don't think that's that no that wasn't right and you was there and you knew I, well, I don't. We don't know, but I'm sure she had an inkling that something wasn't right. Right, something ain't right here. Yeah, man. I mean, you know. Mm, but I'll talk about this later. Let me let me let George finish. He gained your trust because you you fell you you fell to your hoe and lustful side, and you went over there with him. Because you knew, she knew, let me t listen to me, women, the women in my chat. She knew that he was an enemy and contradictory to his message. She knew it. She was there with him. She was there with him. She's That's speculation. You don't know that she knew that. <laughs> he might have had the wool over. You don't know the kind of setup they had there. So that's speculation. Right, unless, unless, George, you got facts. That she knew it. Unless you got the facts. Unless you got some fact, some documentation that she was, you know, clearly aware of Polite's uh, inner workings. Now, the other wives been there since the beginning. I'm sure they were more aware of the the nefariousness and the, 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 the whole, uh, you know, criminal activity behind the scenes they were aware of it but this new chick i don't know i'm not sure they maybe hey they gave her a job away from the money away from the business you just sit here and sit on the floor so who know who knows what her job was so we could we could speculate that maybe she did know i'm not saying she didn't but i'm saying we can't definitively say she did know unless george can produce some facts his opinion is his opinion, right? Just like my opinion is my opinion. I don't have any facts to back up. I'm just using logical deduction. There's no way a woman with a daughter that they love would 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 bring her in, bring that daughter into a situation, and they knew a predator was going to get that person. They knew for at some point this dude is going to get jump on my daughter. I don't think even somebody as crazy as her would have done something like that on purpose. I think she was utterly convinced that polite would not touch her daughter. She knew about them. She knew about some of this craziness. She knew about some of it. And I think she brushed it off saying the, you know, they just haters, right? You know, so, you know, once again, I, I don't, I think that, the, you know, it's, it's, she wasn't, I think that this particular girl, the, the, the baby's mother, I don't think she, uh, was as aware as everyone else of all of the technology that was going on. All right, let's get back to George. He saw the life that he was living and what he was preaching. She was more enamored with the, with the fluff and the shiny stuff. Agreed. 
that she wasn't practicing Second Corinthians six seventeen. She wasn't coming out from amongst them and be ye separate. No. No. Somebody got to say it though, because everybody, every all black men in these spaces is afraid. I don't know, man. I wouldn't say black men are afraid. I'm, I'm saying that, yes, she put herself in that situation. She even put her daughter in, you know, in, in I would agree with the put her daughter in that path. But, but the question is, did she willing, did she knowingly do it? I don't think she knowingly did it. I think she thought that the, the, the craziness that Polite was doing was going to be restricted to other people and it wasn't going to visit her. Right? I think I think that makes the most sense. If if we if we tear down the arguments logically, I think that makes the most sense. I don't think because if she knew at some point Polite was going to jump on her daughter, why did she call the police? Why? If you already knew it was it was gonna happen. Why would you serve your daughter up if you would? Why would you be upset that your daughter got molested if you already knew it? You you set it up to happen. You know what I'm saying? How could you be upset with it? Why would you call the police if you set if you set it up to happen? So I don't think that makes logical sense that she uh would want you know was want, set it did this purposely. And I think that has to be looked at because when we say, hey, uh, nobody wants to say nothing to her. It's not that nobody wants to say nothing to her. Everybody understand, but people try to have compassion for the fact that we've all been misled by somebody. Ain't none of us batting a thousand out here, man. We've all been misled by somebody. And you yourself, George, said you was out there slanging you know, bricks. So we've all been misled by somebody. We've all been mis misled by somebody. How long did it take any one of us to walk out of the situations we was in? Right? So I think we got to have some understanding. Now, do we need to do women need to make better decisions, with, especially the ones with children? Well, women, period. Do they need to make better decisions? Yes, especially if you have a child. Now you have someone else that you're responsible for. Yeah, you have to make better decisions. So we with that. We with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. And I said that on the video that I did, that we did. We did a live stream about polite. I said, hey, yo, you know what? There's gaps. We ain't trying to blame the mother for this situation because I, I, I don't believe the mother anticipated it happening. However, she had a lapse in judgment that had, that, that opened this gap. And the first lap was even laps was even being with polite, right? But she wasn't able to look past the the glitz and the glamour. She wasn't able to see past that. She probably felt so. Um, sometimes women feel like, uh, "Wow, you really picked me out of all these women out here. You this powerful business magnet." And you out here moving and shaking in Hollywood, you pick and you picking me to hang out with. Oh wow, I'm so humble, right? I'm with it and polite, you know. Did the you know did the pimp thing on her, you know? Just kept laying it on, laying it on, laying it on till he got her. That's my opinion of what happened. Just looking at the facts of the case, just looking at the situation. Some of, you know, but anyway, let us continue. Let us continue. And George is right. She was absolutely enamored with Polite's whole thing he had going on. Let's listen to some more because she's lying. And I'm going to call it out. She's lying. What is she lying about? This is the main issue I have. What is she lying about? What is the girl lying about? She just told, she said, hey, you told me, basically, you told me this kind of stuff wasn't going to come to my visit me. So she knew stuff was going on. She just thought it wasn't ever going to hit her front door because he told her, you ain't got to worry about that. Right? 
You ain't got to worry about that. Now, we went over what happened. So maybe some of these people don't know what happened. For those of y'all that don't know what happened, this is what happened. The mother and the daughter got into a heated altercation, verbal altercation. The daughter was, so, you know, the mother and daughter was so upset with each other that it, it was about to turn physical. The daughter, so, so polite, made a suggestion. Why don't y'all, why don't y'all t- split up? So the daughter said, "I'm, I'm gonna go." Right. So the daughter's walking out. Polite says, "Hey, I'll look after the daughter. I'll, I'll watch her. We're gonna go and just get something. To eat. We'll be right back. We're gonna be right back." The mother thinks, "Oh, okay." They're going to be right back. But she was so upset. How many of y'all have ever been that upset where you made a bad decision? Just me, right? Just her. (laughs) Well, you tell this kid, get out of my face before I knock you out. Right? I got three sons. (laughs) I done told all of them at different points, get out of my face before I knock you out. Right? Now, are you going to really knock them out? No, but, I mean, you're just so upset that you know you could feel that you losing your uh, religion and so you got to remove yourself from the situation or remove them from the situation so you can get your senses back we've all been there one more the ones of us is going to tell the truth we've been there so anyway so now here's where the girl messed up the, the mother messed up. The mother, what she should have done is said, wait, 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 polite. Take me. I'll go. I'll go with you. The daughter can stay up here. That's what she should have said. But like, you got you to gotta understand. And George even said she been, they've been there for two years. They've been running around with polite for two years. Okay. So what these predators will do is they will build to trust because they know they're going to make their move at some point. So they keep building trust and building trust and building trust. And then when you least expect it or when something happens where the door finally opens, boom, they're going to attack. Right? So Polite never went up to the mother and said, hey, I'm. I, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take your daughter out to a club and uh you know and and uh, where they serving alcohol maybe might even be drugs there and there's other predators gonna be there i'm taking your 14 year old daughter to do that that does not does that sound right does that sound logical why would the mother have done that and then call been calling 50 times <laughs> why would she do that if she agreed to take let the, the daughter the daughter go to the club allegedly why did she why is she called him 50 times she obviously went looking for polite and the girl and they didn't find them because polite didn't do what he said he was going to do which is go get something to eat and bring the girl right back but that small lapse in judgment that's all these predators need man is a small window small window they, all they, didn't, they just need you to be all and i'm sure polite been trying for two years right Oh, let me go pick her up from school. Oh, let me go do this with her. Oh, let me go do this with her. And the, and the mother was like, nah, you know, I, nah, we got it. We good. And then one time, the one time, pow, right? But the girl, what's she lying about? She said, hey, you convinced me that you would never do something like that to me. To me. <laughs> so the girl knew she stuff was going on, but she he was she was convinced it would never happen to her so i don't think she's lying about that maybe george got some other information that'll show us where where she's lying at that my daughter trusted you too but the truth is you're a monster a demon the very first time that I allowed you to be alone with my daughter, the very first time you couldn't even help yourself, you told me you was going to be right back. We are going downstairs. We are going to grab food and take vacation pictures. You 
told me that you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with her about loving wow. and respecting me as a great mother that I was in Anne. I actually believed you. Wow. I believed that you were going to bring her right back. I thought you were going to have this trusting conversation with her that you... Watch this. See, this is the problem, Big Lou. Big Lou, let me ask you a question, Big Lou. I'm going to be 100% with you. You said she's, she's well-spoken, though. She doesn't sound like a ratchet hoe. Then why was she over there with Polite? Because, see, Big Lou, I bet you got a problem with Polite and his lifestyle and the things he was doing, right? So you won't excuse Brother Polite, but you will excuse her. When she was hanging with... I think, I think that's where... This is another place where George getting caught. I don't think anybody's excusing the mother. We're just not blaming the mother for uh, Polite's behavior. Now, what we are saying is that the mother has some accountability in, like you said, bringing her daughter around a dude like Polite. But like I said, we've all been misled by somebody. We all thought somebody was one way and they was the other way. And we didn't know. We had no clue. Right? Have no clue who you know, that, that this person was actually the culprit the whole time, right? So you don't even, because you, 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 you all in, you, 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 you so enchanted with that person. Unfortunately, a lot of us, it ain't just this lady. A lot of our sisters get enchanted with dudes like this. Sometimes they ain't even dudes like this. They just, I mean, when I say dudes like, that, I mean, living this high, high money lifestyle, some dudes, man, they just get enamored with a dude for these crazy different reasons. Why? Because a lot of our sisters have not grown up in a household where they seen what love looks like. When it, when it, they seen what it looks like when a man loves you. They haven't seen that. <laughs> so they don't know what that looks like, man. So any dude talking nice to them, they automatically think, well, oh, this may, this is probably somebody who really care about me. Right, dude bought him a cheeseburger, and they like, man, this dude bought me a cheeseburger. So, I don't want to put we what we trying to do is not put the 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 the, the M word on the mother. The mother had no idea that was gonna happen. Yes, was she foolish for being with polite? Yes, did she? Open the door for polite to be able to do this? Yes. Was it purpose? No. We just got to be like the police. The police, what matters a lot to the police is the intention. Did you intend to do this? Oh, you broke the law. Did you intend to run that light? No, I didn't because somebody was behind me. If I would have stopped, they would have hit me. And I would have ran into them kids. So I had to run the light. See, the intention and the circumstance is very important not just the fact that you broke you broke the law right all of that matters and so in this situation it matters did she intend to get her daughter in this position no it was incidental to her um uh enchantment over polite it was in, it was an incidental uh issue and unfortunately, Polite was able to get it off. Now, we need to talk, talk we need to tell these girls about this kind of stuff. But I believe shame would never shame, if shame was gonna change change the behavior, shame. No, what we what we need to do is in my opinion, in my opinion, is look at it logically and say, is this what you want for your life? Is this what you want? This is more probable to happen for you if if you follow this path as opposed to you a hoe, you a bitch, you a hoe, you a bitch. I mean, so far that ain't been working, right? <laughs> that hasn't really got our, our sisters to change their behavior, right? And then calling, you know, the uh, you know the brotherhood, y'all ends. Well, we call them niggas. That 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 really see uh, see shame can work, but the person has to be in their right mind for shame to work. 
you're talking to a people that they're not in their right minds. Most of us are not in our right minds. We're just shells of people running around trying to make just enough money so that we can survive to the next time we get a little piece of money. Right? Like Mr. Fark, I said, you get paid on Friday, you you pay you pay your little bills, you buy you a little chicken dinner, and you broke by Monday, right? <laughs> you broke by Monday, right? That's a lot of people living that way. Those of us that's not in that situation, that we should be thankful. But a lot of people are living that way. So, that being said. I don't think we should, you know, the, to put the blame of what Polite did on this sister. Because even though it may be obvious to us on the outside, right, we looking at Polite saying, how could you not know this was going to happen to your own daughter? She was so caught up that she didn't feel like it was going to happen to her, right? All right, let's continue with George. With him. She was sleeping with him. She was she she man she was making herself vulnerable to be around him despite all the things that he was talking about. Now she said he turned out to be a monster. She already knew he was an enemy to his message, Big Lou. Why can't y'all just say that? If there's anybody else, y'all like I, 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 for the life of me in, in this space, in this space, why is it so hard for y'all to call out black women as if y'all don't see bitches in the hood every day? What's wrong with y'all over here? <laughs> George going off. <laughs> George going off like Biz Marquee. <laughs> I think I don't think it's not that we and I, I well let me talk let me speak for myself. Let me speak for myself. I'm not scared to call out black women. We call out black women on our channel a lot too. But um in the reality, I don't think anything's going to change. Black men have the power to change this whole situation in my opinion. And as soon as black men turn around, black women ain't going to have no choice. They don't have no choice but to follow that uh, movement. So if we can get the brothers, I mean, I'm not saying that black women, should. we should not say nothing to, about that. You know, if they're doing something out of pocket, we should. We should. But but shaming them ain't working. What we got to do is find another strategy when we, when we talking to them to try to get them and encourage them to look at what they're doing and see if the results are what they want and why and if so if the results are are horrible results and that's what they want why what's going on with them mentally that they want horrible results see we ain't thinking about that man a lot of time and and, I'm, and, and you know i don't know if george understand this but a lot of our sisters have been molested themselves man you know what I mean? Black women are out here right now, man. They're running around right now. Black women, black women, black men were molested as boys. Didn't say nothing because they didn't want to bust up the whole family. They didn't want to break the whole family apart. So they took all that on the chin, man. No, they didn't got no counseling, no support, no nothing. When they went and go tell, they Older sister or older brother, you know what the older sister or older brother said? Yeah, it happened to me too. Ain't no big deal. A lot of our, lot of our sisters, you th see, man, they, they ain't this way by them for nothing. Right? Elijah Muhammad said, for every black woman you see out here that's acting crazy, she's like that because a man made her that way. Some man influenced the situation to make her that way. Father not being there, father being there and being and, and, and dealing his own children, uh, 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 father not paying his child support, whatever kind of and 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 the the woman because the father the, the biological father is not paying the child support, the the the, the um, mother may see a, a man with a with a with that has money as an opportunity to take better care of their child and in that process may be so quick to try to put that situation together that may not thoroughly investigate the character of this man and his motivations for wanting to be with her when all the while the man really wanted to be with the daughter 
or the sun. This is happening out here. This is happening. Maybe something happened to this mother. Well, Clarence, you shouldn't be, you know, black women. It's time for you just the hammer to come down on black women. Oh, is it? Is it? How many of us need the hammer to come down on us? If I if if our past was brought up on us, how many of us would have the hammer brought down on us? Hmm. That goes out to you, Bible thumpers. <laughs> that's that's one out to you, Bible thumpers. What's the purpose of the Bible? What is the purpose of the Quran? What is the purpose of the Torah? What is the purpose of these books? What is the ultimate purpose of these books? The ultimate purpose of these books, the ultimate purpose of these books is redemption. Redemption. You can be redeemed. What? What you mean redeemed? Lazarus was redeemed, right? Lazarus was in a condition he wasn't fit to be among the living. Jesus had to redeem him fit to live. He wasn't deemed worthy and fit to live among people. Jesus had to come and redeem him. Redeem him worthy to be around the living, right? How did Lazarus get to the point where he was he was not worthy to be among the living? That's what's not being told to you. That's what's not being told to you. He must have was doing some nefarious stuff for him to be in that condition where people that had their right minds didn't want nothing to do with him. He couldn't even be among the living. They considered him dead because his mind was so messed up. His thinking process was so out of whack. But I don't know, man. I'm just talking about Jesus. I heard you quoting a couple of scriptures, brother. So I just, you know, I'm just talking about Jesus. Maybe... Maybe we ain't we, maybe, maybe we ain't supposed to be redeeming the people out here, right? <laughs> maybe we supposed to just whop off with their heads, right? We just have one big line and just whop off with everybody's head. But that ain't our call, brother. That's not our call to do that. In my opinion, that's way above our pay grade to call whether somebody should be whoop. And they didn't take that life. Mm. Anyway, I don't think the girl's lying about anything so far. Maybe George has some more information where she is lying. I don't think she's lying. I think she's very clear that the fact that, hey, she was very aware of some of this stuff. I won't say she was aware of everything. Because I don't know. I don't know. But I know she, I, I don't know. Excuse me. I feel that she was at least aware of some of the stuff that was going on. Some of the questionable things that was going on. But Polite was able to convince her, hey, baby, that ain't going to never come. It's never going to happen to you. These are just, man, these are just my, these are my haters. They going to say whatever. Oh, Polite. Right? He was able to, he was able to pull it off. And of course, the other wives—I don't know what they were thinking because they've—they've been here through since the beginning. But I think, like I said, there are women that will say, "Hey, I don't care. I don't care. I'm rolling with this dude. I don't care what he's out there doing. This is my dude, and I'm gonna try to help him as much as I can, even if he's out there victimizing children." I know that sounds crazy to the rest of us, right? The rest of us, we are like, what? It, that don't even compute. But there's some women out there that's like, I don't care. Just like there's men out there, right? Hey, bro, you know, the dude done caught his wife with other dudes, caught her and called the dude and caught with the dude and all that. And they just going to be like, hey, I'm going to just be with her. I can't leave her. I love her too much. 
when a person know you, they got that much power over you, you're in a really bad situation, a very, very bad situation because if the, 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 at the point where that person may become unscrupulous, you're just going to be a victim of, you're just going to be a, a casualty in their um, fight to uh, regain consciousness, basically. That's where we are with Polite, man. Polite fell so far down, man. So far down. I don't really know if he was high, but he was at least the the, the message was whole another thing. And I remember he was getting on hip hop uh uncensored. He was getting on hip hop uncensored because that dude was doing the same thing. He was t- hip hop uncensored was at first they was talking about the black issues. And then they transitioned from and they was really jumping on polite and then they transitioned from the black sector to the hip hop sector right and polite was jumping on the dudes for saying hey man why you coming at me you coming at me you ain't even in this sector no more right <laughs> you know switch to this well, and then polite did the same exact thing so I guess there's money out there y'all money 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 out there Anyway, let's get back to George. George wanted me to put a video together out there, man. By the way, you know, I don't got nothing for love, love for George, man. So I just want to have a conversation with the brother. You know, this ain't no hating on him, nothing like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm one of his subscribers. I've been subscribed to George for a couple of years. So, you know what I mean? So this ain't nothing, man, you know. And I think George is man enough to understand and see that. So this is just, I'm just putting a video together showing where I have to this is differences of agreement and we as men can discuss it even if he's gonna stand on his square i'm gonna stand on mine but he might he might sway me i might sway him who knows but he just wanted to, he wanted the video outlining the issues the points that i had a problem with so that's all i'm doing i think i think i'm pretty much done i don't i think um let me see let me see i don't, I don't think george said anything else that i really had a disagreement with I'll be afraid, I'll be, man, I would be scared to death to bring my daughters to anybody in this community. Y'all fucked up. Nobody's honest. I mean, am, am I stupid? Am I, am I, what's, am I the one uh, what's happening here? No, you are defending her when you make that statement. You, you very so are. Because if I ask you, do you have a problem with polite? I get- Wait a minute. Maybe we do. Maybe I do got something. Wait a minute. She's very well spoken, though. She doesn't sound like a ratchet hoe. How is he defending her? He's just telling him that what he what he sees. Right? <laughs> he didn't say she wasn't a ratchet hoe. He said she don't sound like a ratchet hoe. Man, you know, man, we got to we got to got to do some critical thinking. We got to do some uh, comprehension so that we can see. We can understand what's actually being said and what's actually being typed, so we can uh, we can address what's actually being said. Because sometimes we can let our emotions uh, di- uh, uh, dictate what's what's actually being said, and then we, we kind of find out you didn't even hear what actually was being said, right? <laughs> you listen to because your emotion told you that this was being said when in actuality uh, something else was being said. All right, yeah, man, but she he never de- he never defended the girl. He just said, "Hey, she don't sound like a ratchet hoe." Right? He never said she wasn't. She might be. Who knows? But she she don't sound like it. That's what he said. Anyway, let's keep moving. Almost done, y'all. Almost done. Guarantee you, you would say yeah, and I would tell you that she was with him as one of his wives for two years. She saw everything that was going on and was taking part. Hold on. Now, this is a dude talking about her, uh, hearing her speak at the trial, right? At the sentencing, right? So, how does he know whether she's a ratchet hoe or not? But George's like, she's a, she's a hoe. <laughs> All right, maybe so. And he might be right. He might be right, but I don't know. We don't have no, I don't see no facts yet that say she's a whole, other than the fact. Now, we can definitely say she's a, bad, a person who makes bad decisions. 
We can definitely say that. That is definitely true. But her being a ratchet hoe, I don't know. I don't know. Unless George can produce some information that that definitively definitively makes her a ratchet hoe. But she definitely didn't sound like a ratchet hoe when she was talking to the court, in my opinion. But that's, you know, that's my opinion. All right, let's get back to George. Here you go, Big Lou. Here you go. She was down too. She was rolling with the rock. Where y'all from, man? She was rolling with the rock. Okay, this is another conflation. This is another conflation. So because she took this picture and she was involved with the with the whole, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I want to say, uh, you know, sexual uh, deviancy type of, uh, you know, the alluring, uh, you know, um, uh, what's the word I, I always use? Um, um, you know, the sexual tension, right? Well, now, why would why do women dress like this? Why do women dress like this? Okay, the reason why women dress like this is to create arousal, and how they create arousal is by um turning up sexual tension. Right, so women have various ways that they can turn sexual tension up when they're de dealing with men, and one of the ways is the way they dress, right? The way they dress, the way they carry themselves, the way they look, the way they, um, you know, the accoutrements, right? Whatever, and so uh, this is one of the ways. Now I talk about this when I talk about sexual selection, right? Where women women and men make these horrible mistakes when they when they out here sexually selecting because they select people sexually select people and they don't do a uh, they don't follow through with not only selecting them for sexual sexual activity but um, you have to follow through with um investigating a lot more than just them and their sex parts you have to investigate in, in their ability to create sexual tension and so that is what, and so I agree with George. This is what thing that Polite is using is sexual tension to create arousal by, uh, you know, um, arousal by other young men to send him money to find out how they can be put on. And so they can learn how to have uh, haram, which is exceeding the limits of what should be happening uh, when, when you in America, you call it harem right when there's a bunch of different women uh but it's actually called haram where you, you you're exceeding the limits right hamas is you are where you're supposed to be and haram you're exceeding the limits right and so uh he's exceeding the limits here because okay one wife two wife three wife okay but now you're exceeding the limits by trying to get other people right aroused by your wife why should i be aroused by your wife Right, on purpose. You, per your wife is purposely out here doing. So you using her, you using her as bait to get me to see you as something that you're really not, so that I can send you money. Right, I can get on the mentoring program. Shout out to the brother that passed away, man. The 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 brother that unfortunately gave polite a hundred something thousand dollars, passed away. Pay for the mentoring program, right? But this is how they do it, man. They get you. They have all these women around, right? And if you're not, you're not a thinking man. You're not a thinking man. These women will get you caught up. See, I'm old and ugly, man. I, I, I'm. I can walk right in the room and I can go straight to what I want and come right out. You young guys are the ones that got to t got to figure out how you're gonna do it, man. So you gotta have some sense in your head, man. These women ain't looking at me. I'm the millionaire that got away. They looking for you guys that's flashing all this money, flashing these cars, flashing this, flashing this lifestyle, right? That's going to attract women like this. These women are looking for somebody. They, 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 they're on the last roundup, a lot of them. 
right? There's no uh, there's no retirement for three or four, right? There's no ret- there's no good retirement plan, right? The best retirement plan is to find somebody who is going to be okay with high miles on the vagina, right? And then probably, probably will be somebody in the polygamous camp. Probably. Probably. But even if you don't have high miles on the vagina, you got to watch out for all these different types of dudes, man. All different types of dudes. But anyway, I don't think she sounds like a ratchet hoe. Um, George, I, I, George is like, <laughs> George going bananas, right? And so he's like, hey, she sounds like a hoe to me. She's a hoe. Um, I don't think so. I don't know so. In this picture, this picture shows that you know she was with the business. Absolutely, she was with the business, and who knows what else she was doing? Who knows? But it is what it is. You know what I mean? But we're conflating two different things. Her being in this situation of her own deciding and polite, uh, you know, tearing off on her daughter. Those are two different issues. Those are two different issues. And so we don't want to get just because she made this bad decision that she ultimately was intending to make the other intending to put her daughter in harm's way. I don't think that. And, but that is what I'm hearing that you're, that's why I wanted to do the live with George. I want to discuss it with him because that's the feeling that I'm getting is that George feels that she intended to put her out there. Right. She knew it was going to happen at some point. And, I don't feel that she thought that. I feel like she should have thought, she should have been thinking in the back of her mind, this dude, man, you know, in this kind of crazy situation, anything's possible. She should have been thinking that, but I think that Polite was always reassuring her that, oh, no, 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 you see all these crazy things, but I have to do this. I have to, this is part of the persona. This is part of the act. I got to do all this to, you know, to, to keep the money rolling in. Huh? Because you don't see pay, P- polite has burnt a lot of bridges, man. You don't see polite hanging out with, uh, you know, uh, Ron Artest and all these other stars and all this and Mayweather and all that. You don't see polite hanging out with all them uh, with these kind of people no more. But I think the drugs got to him, unfortunately, like it, it has done to so many other people. Unfortunately for him, and unfortunately for other people around him, he has man, he has destroyed so many people but that's a whole nother story anyway we're talking about the conflation of the girl and being one of the uh one of the wives and and doing all of this uh you know uh stuff to arouse other men as a and and then not realizing that her daughter was probably going to be groomed to be doing the same thing. I don't think she realized that. I think she thought this was something that I could do. And, and because we can live together and they, they gave her the whole potty lifestyle set. Yeah, we, you know, we can all cook on a different night and we can all do homework with the kids on a different night and we can all work and we can all pay for how everything is going to be great. And they gave her the whole, they gave her the whole spiel. Right? And she went for a hook, line, and sinker, right? But the, I don't care what kind of relationship you in, heterosexual or potty, man, a bad person is going to be a bad person, whether they're in a potty lifestyle or a heterosexual lifestyle. You have to investigate the character of these people that you are sharing your sexual uh, genitals with. You got to. All right. Let's get back to George. I think I think I'm about to wrap it up, y'all. And this is what I'm saying, man. Like, what the fuck, man? So all of this, all of this with the pimp cups and all of this. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But see, people will find a way to make me be the bad guy. And what I'm saying, this is what, when they first came in, this is how they started. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And 
This is what I'm talking about. What's up, Madonna? This is how they started out when they first come through. Look, nappy, nappy afros, power to the people, black, 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 bleedy black, I'm bleedy black, 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 black. Yeah. And then once once they hold you in. That's a CB4 reference for those y'all that's too young to remember. Once they hold you in, here we go. The dope boy. All the dope boy image. Remember his leader got 135 years in prison. Now we here. We went from all of that. Diggle the two wives right here on the corner now. Weaves, no more, no more pro black, black first afros, weaves and liquor. And scantily clad women. Here go the wife, whose mother, whose daughter was molested right here. Yeah. She's down, she's down with the team. Yeah. But th but that's no. a, that's a separate issue, George. That's a separate issue, man. That's a separate issue. Yes, she was very um uh what's the word I want to use? Horrible decision making. Horrible decision making, but like I said, she was she was enchanted, I think in my opinion. Who knows why she decided to hook up with polite? I can't understand that. Maybe polite's got some you know, maybe, maybe he got some magic between his legs. Who knows, right? But I don't think you got magic when you're trying to give it to kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think if you have magic, you can spend. You can just use magic on women, man. You grown women. You don't need to give magic to kids, right? But let polite tell it. He's got magic going on, right? All right, y'all. This is uh, this is my video about what I disagree with with um. George Macon, man. Shout out to George Macon, man. Uh, you know, man, um, I've been a sub a subscriber for a while. So, you know, I usually I usually agree with, with most of the time, mo with George most of the time, right? But, you know, I would like to just have a conversation, right? So, hey y'all, any of y'all that see this, man, just tell George and I've 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 emailed George and I've done I've so I put it out there. So Maybe one day he and I will have this conversation because I don't see, I, I can see where um, the woman could make this kind of mistake, if, especially women that don't never really had a man in their life that ever really loved them and know what love looks like. When you don't know what something looks like, anybody can tell you that something is something, right? <laughs> anybody can. We don't know what something looks like, right? They can tell you, yeah, man, this is Arizona, but the beach is, you know, five miles away. Oh, really? And you just keep walking. They say, w w we should be by the beach now. Yeah, just a little farther. Just a little farther, right? Because <laughs> you don't know. You never saw it. And I think, I think a lot of these women never saw what men, a man looks like that actually loves you. And... That's unfortunate part about this situation. And a lot of our sisters are in that situation where they never really saw what a man looks like. So they don't know how to they don't know how to inspect a man's character. They just say, hey, he's a man, he got a job. Oh shoot. Hey. We all got something going on, right? <laughs> yeah, but we all do got something going on. But there's some things you want to make sure that ain't going on. With the person you laying down with and eating your meals with, there's there's certain things you want to make sure ain't going down, right? We all none of us are perfect, so I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, if you vet somebody really well, then there should never gonna be no problems. I don't care if you married 20, 30 years. I mean, I don't care if you vet somebody. If you married 20, 10, 20, 30 years, you really think nobody's gonna make a mistake in 10 or 20, 30 years? There's gonna be some mistakes made, right? It's going to be a mistake or two. It's going to be a misunderstanding. There's going to be a heated argument or two. There's going to be some stuff happen, man. Because people are going to be having bad days. You're going to catch the wrong end of the conversation. I mean, something's going to happen. There's going Because some money going to come up missing. So a bill ain't going to get paid. Something's going to happen. That's a lot of pressure to put on somebody and say, hey, you know what? Don't do nothing wrong for the next 30, 40 years. Right? That's a lot of pressure. The reality is people make mistakes. And it's based on most of our mistakes are based on what happened to us as a children. 
most of us. Did this sister have a father? And was the father a decent dude? Probably not. If she's running around with polite, she pro- I would I would estimate there was no father that was really about something in her life. That's what I would say. Because you you, you don't usually find women that have fathers that was really um, involved in their lives as children doing stuff like this. That's just my observation. Anyway, this is my video with George. Um, comments, questions. I, I just made this video for George so to point out the, the, the issues I have problem with. It, you know, man, I'm, I'm always, the door is always open to discuss it. If you want to discuss it with me at any point, man, you know what I mean? I appreciate him even reaching out. You know, George reached out to me, man. He reached out. He said, man, Clarence, I can't. I'm trying to hit you, man, but I can't do it. I appreciate that, man. You know, most of the people that I, I try to have conversations with, they just won't talk to me. Especially they got like 10,000 subscribers. They just they just going to say, man, why, why should I talk to you? You don't got 800. Why should I talk to you? <laughs> right? So shout out to uh, George Macon, man. Appreciate you, man. And uh, like I said, you know, let's just have a conversation, right? Let's just, I just want a conversation. And to George's followers, the true believers, hey, man, I don't, I ain't got nothing to get, oh, well, you don't think what, what George think, so now you hate George. Come on, man, stop, man. <laughs> I, I don't hate nobody. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> I just had a different, difference of opinion, man. I don't, I ain't trying to hate on him or you know, they're doing that. Come on, man. If people tell me the same thing about Tony Gaskins. I'm like, come on, man. I don't hate Tony. I, hopefully, man, you know, hey, may God bless you, Tony. May God bless you, George. You know what I'm saying? And everything you're trying to do, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to have an engaging conversation, right? And for some reason, people don't want to, people that disagree with me don't want to have that conversation with me. <laughs> I don't know why they always run. I feel like Ali and they Sunny Liston, man. They just keep running and running and running and running and running, right? <laughs> uh, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, man. You know, saying hopefully George will, you know, be able to make the time. Now, I'm not saying George is running, but I'm saying maybe he will make the time. I know brother's probably busy, so maybe we will get to it. Maybe hopefully this week. I, I'd like to do it. I wanted to do it today, but we could not make it happen today. But uh, maybe, uh, you know, now that he has my email, the, the proper email, maybe we can um, maybe we can make it happen this week. All right, y'all, shout out to uh, shout out to Street Media TV. Uh, shout out to um, all the uh, Georgia's True Believers. Shout out to uh, Let's Talk to Better Black Life. Shout out to all of y'all. And we will see y'all on the next one. Peace.